Hey everybody, what is up? I'm the Mac Mage, and in this video, we're going to be talking about downloading music with Cody, so stay tuned. So, I found an add on that is kind of an older add on, but it does the same thing nonetheless. It allows you to download music and, um, by either by album or by the song and it is called mp3 streams now again this is an older add-on it's been around for at least a couple years now um, but every once in a while it's always good to do an update on an add-on because sometimes they they don't work sometimes they are working but because they're older people don't trust them as much um so i wanted to to talk about this add-on and show you how to get it and show you that it does work so let's go inside of the add-on and I'll show you a little bit about the add-on and then I'll show you how to get it and how to configure it. So you can search by album or by artist and by top albums, new albums. There's just a ton of ways to search. You can also do manual searches for artists or for albums. Um, it's just an awesome, awesome app to have. So let's go into top albums. And I'll show you um, how it works. So if we go into Adele 25, we'll just click on the enter button again. And then you can either browse by the song or play the full album. Now if you browse by the song, it's going to take you to all of the songs in the album. And you can play one song after another, but it will not play in succession. It'll finish the song and then you'll have to choose another song. If you play the full album, it'll just play the album in succession. You don't have to worry about coming back to it or whatever. So let's go to Browse by Songs. So if I click on this song, I can either play it, and I have not had any problems whatsoever playing any song on this or any other album at all. Um, so let's go to Browse Songs. And I'll just start with the first one. So that you can see that it does play. I don't want to play too much because of copyright stuff. Let me get rid of this little battery thing here. I don't want to get any copyright infringement stuff. So, um, but you can browse pretty much whatever song. It will play flawlessly all the time. Um, it's just an awesome app. Now, if I wanted to download it, I would just bring up my context menu. And I can play from other alternative uh, sources. Or I can queue, of course, the item. Or I can download the song. Um, I can even um, add this to favorites. And I can download the whole album if I'm sitting, if I'm uh, clicking on the album. So, let's, let me go back out here. If I'm at the album, I can bring up that context menu and download the full album. And what this will do is it'll download song by song. So rather than clicking on each song to download it, it'll just download the album, but it will track it for you. The only thing that this doesn't have is the ID tag information. At least it didn't for the, the ones that I had tried. So how do you download? Like how do you, how does this work? Well, uh, I'm going to show you how to configure this add-on to download. So let's go ahead and get this add-on so that I can show you how to configure it. So if you already, if you have either uh, installed your Kodi with the Fusion Wizard or you installed with me the first time Kodi, you should have uh, this repository already. Um, so what you're going to want to do is go to Systems. You're going to want to go to Add-ons, and you're going to want to go to Install from Repository. So when you go to Add-on Repository, you want Kinkin's repo. So go ahead and click on that, and then you're going to want to click on Music Add-ons, and then, of course, it's right here. You're going to want to click on this to install it, and then once you get the add-on enabled, you are good to go. For anyone who may not have this repository, I'm going to go ahead and leave the direct link to the updated repository in the description because it was just updated a few days ago. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that link in the description so you guys can install it. And all you would have to do is just install from zip and then choose your desktop. So let's go ahead and go back to the main menu 
and then we'll go ahead and go into music and then add-ons and then we'll go to mp3 streams and then we're gonna click on the context menu so C or long hold or uh, right click and we'll click on add-on settings you want to make sure that your settings look pretty much like mine do except for here is where you will click to have a custom music directory now what I have chosen to do is I've chosen to use my desktop now the reason that I've chosen to use my desktop is because even though I have a designated folder for music I always like to uh, add my ID3 tags and all that kind of stuff before I put it in my music folder or before I put it into my iTunes so what you're gonna do is just click here and then you'll click wherever you want to start it from just click desktop and then if you just want it on your desktop click OK and then the other thing that you're gonna want to configure is how the folders show up so if you do artist slash album slash song then it's going to look like um, it's going to have the artist name, so let's say Adele, and then it's going to have, you're going to click on that folder, it's going to have the album folder, and then you're going to click on that album, and it's going to have all the songs from that album. So, um, or, if you do it this way, it'll say, like, let's say Adele-25, hyphen and then you'll click on that folder, and all the songs will be there, instead of having the extra folder. So, I just choose to do it this way. I can always change it if I wanted to, so... Once that's done, click OK, and you're all set to download. So if we were to go in here and download something, let's say, so I'm just going to go to the top albums again, and then I will show you how to download this Adele album. So I'll just bring up the context menu, and then I could download the album just like that, and it will continuously download songs. It won't stop until the whole album is downloaded. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Again, the link for Kinkin's Repo, the direct link, meaning it'll start downloading right away, it will be in the description. If you guys did enjoy this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. It would really help me out a lot. Also, a thumbs up and a share would be great too. And I will catch you in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.